PhotoKey 6 Pro includes direct integration with Adobe Photoshop, so you can seamlessly move images between the two programs. I'm Axel Wilkinson from fxhome.com, here to show you how this feature works. When you install PhotoKey 6 Pro, the installer will add a plugin to Photoshop at the same time it installs the main PhotoKey application. You can then access this plugin through Photoshop's filter menu to send a layer from your Photoshop document out to PhotoKey for keying. Now you'll notice that right now the photo key option is grayed out here. That's because we first need to select a layer in Photoshop to send out. When you open an image in Photoshop, by default it's a background. And so we just need to convert this background into a layer. There are several ways to do this. The one I prefer is to just double click the layer and then hit return or enter if you're on Windows. This is now converted to layer zero and ready to send to photo key. Now we can adjust the key settings as needed to remove our green screen and get a perfect key. Once we are done, click the button at the top to send the image back to Photoshop. Immediately the layer in Photoshop is updated based on the mat we created in PhotoKey. So as you can see, basic use of the PhotoKey plugin is quite simple. So let's look at a few other situations where this plugin can be of use. Suppose you have a case where you have individual images of each member of a team or a group and you want to combine them to make a group photo. Well, if we just paste each of our images into a single document, so we have multiple layers there, then we can send each layer out to photo key in order to remove the green screens and combine the images. Or perhaps you would like the option to edit the mat further in Photoshop as a layer mask. The standard use of the plugin, as we've seen, deletes the background area from the layer. But what if you would prefer to just use a layer mask to control that transparency information? Well, here's how you can do that easily. Uh, first, you want to just duplicate the layer in Photoshop. You can do this by hitting Command J and then send one of those copies out to photo key for keying. And I'll go ahead and send that back. Once we're back in Photoshop, Command click or Control click if you're on Windows on the thumbnail for the layer we've just keyed. Then we can select the original layer of that image and just create a layer mask based on that selection. Now take the duplicate layer and you can either hide it or you can just throw it away to get rid of it because now we have that image with the transparency data there and we can now use our tools in Photoshop to adjust the layout of this final composition. Now the advantage of the layer mask is, as you can see this bit of white here, we've got this area which was visible outside the green screen in our original image. And we can very easily just use a brush tool on the layer mask to remove that area. In addition, you can see that there's a fair bit of transparency uh, in the dark areas of the dress here. And we can just use a brush tool to paint those back in to get perfect opacity in those areas and improve the key. The Photoshop plugin is included with every copy of PhotoKey 6 Pro and will automatically install along with the standalone version of PhotoKey if Photoshop is present on your system. For more information or to try the free demo, please visit fxhome.com.